I recently challenged myself to see how long I could survive playing with a controller. Predictably, I lasted about 40 minutes. I knew inventory management would be bad, but surprisingly, the controller has a few advantages over mouse and keyboard. First, the open keybind and climb keybind are separate on the controller. On the keyboard, they're both E with a long press to climb. The speed difference in activating climbing itself is amazing, but also you can no longer fat finger E and throw yourself out a window. On top of that, you get true analog movement instead of cardinal directions on the keyboard. It's a small advantage, but even a small one makes the difference when you are getting swarmed. A silver lining for the slower looting is that while scrolling through containers, you will always check those freezers. Maybe it's just a me problem, but I always forget to check the freezers, and it was a nice bonus to find so much ice cream. Speaking of the looting, when you are playing single player, you can always quickly switch back to the mouse for the more intense inventory management sessions. Lastly, and most importantly for the controller, when you use the left D-pad to switch weapons, it gives you a quick swap choice for any weapon in your inventory. This is a huge advantage over the keyboard as you only get those default three quick slots. I cannot stress how much of a weight management advantage this can be. Being able to quickly access any weapon is huge. This can be very strong if you're using crafted spears to clear out a horde, as they constantly break even with that high chance to one-shot a zombie. The only detriment is that you have to claw like you were playing an old Monster Hunter game on the PSP if you wish to swap weapons while moving. To start off the cons, I'll point out that said quick slot UI is missing. This means you don't get to see the durability of the weapon you're holding. Hope it doesn't randomly break at the wrong moment, right? Something I don't need to stress is that inventory management is pretty poor. It's already clunky with the mouse, and the controller just makes it worse. They do include keybinds for swapping between containers on the bumpers and to quickly grab a stack of items, but nothing can fix the inability to quickly scroll and grab one item out of a fully packed crate. While moving with the stick is better, aiming with the stick is not. The lack of the isometric aiming cursor means lots of misses on knocked over zombies until you get used to it. It also gets very finicky when trying to select a specific container to loot. This is something that you can overcome with practice, but the devs really need to switch looting to an area based system instead of line of sight. If you go foraging or fishing, you get to enjoy the realization that you cannot fast forward time without first closing the menu. Then once you open the menu back up, it doesn't actually show the status or what you are gathering. Pretty annoying, but you can't reach over to that mouse and click the buttons if needed. For the last con, you don't seem to have access to the walk to command, like the mouse does. Seeing as that's my primary mode of transportation with the times to speed up, it's sorely missed, not to mention the easy forest travel. And once again, I find myself reaching back over to the mouse. How do you feel about the controller? Only good for co-op, or will you try it out now? Any questions or things you want tested out, leave a comment and I'll get around to it.